Hello and welcome back to Exum 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Against the Hive campaign where I am getting beaten up by the chrysalids over and over and over again until I finally learn my lesson. Today it is Operation Crip Green, uh, the one that is going to decide whether or not we make it to Waterworld. Uh, it is do or die again, 69 enemies, some of which are chrysalids, Boa Elite officers, Andromedon, shield bearers, specters, Codices, uh, Soldiers, Heavy Max, uh, and Valkyries. I sort of get the feeling that there might be a alien ruler in here as well, but we're going to figure that out. We got uh, the Prime team here, the ones that really count, and I have to wonder, with so little uh, mechanical units, would it be maybe better to, to take one Venom round making more tail and round for extra crit that wouldn't be bad either good we do have we do have two times blue screen rounds question is do we want to give Nemri a harder hitting weapon or are we using that extra one grenade hmm Difficult. I think we're going with that extra grenade and just accept the fact that uh, mm, we only have three ammo ammunitions. Yeah, and I need those for the heavy mechs. Now nah, we're good. We're good, boys. Let's see if Hogby and the Hogbite and the gang will be able to actually get the mission done. I am very, very much looking forward to that. Uh, because it might be the end of the entire campaign. Here we go. Wish me luck. All right, so we landed. Let's take a good look here. That's a new uh, parcel right there. I like the new maps. They are actually quite good. Uh, potentially one of the favorite mods that I've installed. So that here looks awesome. We do not have any need to rush and the game was also nice enough to give us a Lance and Christine here. Three hit points. Um, yeah, well, that's a rookie if there ever has been one. That is a rookie if there ever has been one. Okay, let's scout a little bit. What? Wait, what? Uh, okay, don't know the pack size here, but what are we witnessing? Archon, Sentinel, Valkyrie, Codex, Purifier, Heavy Mech, couple of Elite Spectres, they even spawned in one another. How is that, how, how is that possible? And it almost looks like a Codex Prime uh, there. I have to wonder, is that the thickest spawn that we've ever seen? Memory certainly moves up. I am tempted to just throw a frost grenade in, poke the bear a little bit, but before we do that, let's do it. If we do that stuff, let's do it um, the correct way. Yes, Commander. Moves up. We take some solid high ground up here, automatically bracing. Sukuga will be instrumental for us. Okay. 
So maybe we're putting him here. I need him to be able to hit twice. All right, in terms of armed intervention, that also wouldn't be too bad. Just wondering. I think for now we're taking the high ground just for better hits. Elite Lancer is coming from the side. And poor Christy just doesn't know what she got herself into. I'm going to use her to put a bit uh, more guns to the front line. Okay, so pack size here is six, two codices. Sectored soldiers, okay. Game is slowing down, which tells us that there are just a lot of enemies. This is a crazy pack. Okay, two elite specters, two Archon Sentinels, Codex Prime on top of it. What are we even talking about? This is four, 500 hit points combined just in one spawn and I do have ballistic weapons and no armor upgrades. And if the rest of the mission it looks anything like that, oh lord, then we're in trouble. This is crazy. Well, we know it's 60 enemies at least, right? So there might even be more. With our two little support friends, it might not be that bad, but it is quite bad. On the flip side, this might be just the best frost grenade that I'm ever going to lend, ever, period. Holy, how can I not frost grenade that? In other terms, how can I not just grenade that as well? Okay. Listen, rapid deployment, I already know what we're going to do. It's just a matter of how good is it going to be. Want to hit all of the cortices. All right. Let's go, baby. I think I've hit 12 or 14 with the frost grenade. Can't remember the last time. Oh, the game is even slowing down. 2, 4, 6. Yeah, that, around 12, 14 frozen enemies. Really, inspectors also didn't like what they've seen. Well, too bad for you. I don't care what you like. Okay, I think to also to be fair, this is too good to not use a at least one grenade to just shred it down. <laughs> okay. Ah, dangerous. It's dangerous, but I think we're going to Reaper in. Okay, we might trigger another pack, but we're okay for now.
Good, let's get this other codex here. Just softening it up so much so that when we're doing this here, one, two, three, that's one more. Okay, how much damage do we still deal? Six to seven. Amplify, put on to the heavy mech here. Free pickup of Okay, well, apparently we can't pick up. Let's hope that this is still enough damage. 7 to 8. It is. Continuing to reaper them down. So we're dealing with 5 to 6. Who has five hit points? The elite trooper up there, okay. Continuing to arc wave deal damage. Four to five, okay. Who has four hit points? No one. Well, that's where Christy comes in with her little assault rifle. All right, Christy, good news, bad news. Good news, you have just been promoted. Bad news, it requires uh, you to go put up your big um, girl pennies. Okay, well, that's not so good. Let's stun the purifier. Very good. Takes him out for now. We don't want to deal with all of uh, these guys. They are frozen anyways. Our attention needs to be where the real problems are, namely the elite specters. That's a kill. 20 points of damage, Apex Predator, I love it, wrong planet. Snipers are good, even the reworked snipers are fabulous. Working with that other Spectre. Could be a kill. I like to take that into consideration. Yep. There is the kill. There is a guardian here. <clears throat> One that I would like to kill as well. But we can't move further. And unfortunately there was a miss. We are currently flanked.
Hmm. Let's first of all take the stun lancer. And go to that guardian. Because maybe, just maybe, we're just going to knock him unconscious. Nothing here. Okay, that's not good. Eremetos uh, charges in, deals a bit of damage, which is good. Good listen. Is the Guardian worth um, using run and gun and our axe? Potentially is. It potentially is because it flanks us and I really don't want to deal with that. Lyrical moves up. I wouldn't take enough damage if I was just shotgunning him. So it's throw X into your face. Decent starter damage. And then we're moving slightly back. Okay, we still have Hogbite. The top G that is going to go through the enemies like a hot knife through butter. And like a true gangster, he is just getting one after the other. Three points of damage, enough for the mag. Moving back and forth and back and forth. Just dishing out that sweet, sweet damage. Oh, nice crit. Two to three points of damage. Are we risking the 50 50? feel less inclined to do that. Rather take the ghost and kind of call it a day. Good, Hogbite can take up uh, the other focus next round. Ghost moves here. Four blade storm attack on that soldier. And we're ending our turn. Nice, okay. Well, sector soldier already takes damage. Hogbite unfortunately does so as well. It's not that much I can do about it. If I wanted, I could have put him into a better uh, position. Uh, where he wouldn't have taken any damage, but I wanted the ghost. Just 
Interesting situation that they f uh, that we find ourselves in. So many enemies gone after the first engagement. Hawkwide heals up through his vest, so the two hit points are not a problem anymore. Instead, let's... See. You know what, we could... Um, might as well strike the Archon Valkyrie, kill the spe Elite Spectre with it, and get ourselves into a nice position. Hawkwide can simply parry. Standing there. Okay, we're reloading into Codex Prime kill. Into Archon Sentinel. Purifier needs some shredding. And the other purifier also needs some shredding. We just gotta prioritize the shredding. Let's kill the mutant with a stun baton. <laughs> they can't parry when they are frozen, just like they can't when they are disoriented. Ah, Crystal, come on, Christy. I want to see a little bit more than just a miss. moves up, kills the sentinel, gets an extra action because the sentinel was crowd controlled, uses that to kill another one and gets the breaching uh, to just move a tiny bit back. We're just going to set up the Valkyrie for next round. And in the meantime, Taurus just overwatches in case we're being pushed. End of turn. Okay, we got three packs down and we only took two points of damage. I think I'm pretty proud of that. Well, shouldn't be too proud too early. More enemies are coming in. There's yet another. Oh, wow. Okay.
Good. This will teach him a lesson. Hawkbite can use his momentum to get further to the front line. But before we do any of that... We're reloading and I am trying to get rid of the Codex. Good hit, good shit. Let's continue. Don't want to move much further in. Good, I just want to see that Codex for our sniper. Apparently no line of sight. That's regrettable. So Kuga moves up. Yeah, and I unfortunately can already see how the next turn is going to play out. We're going to see a big, stupid psionic bomb. So I just need to spread out to make it less impactful. Lancer is immune. Ah, he's immune to burning, so wouldn't have even needed to get him there. Lyrical moves up. Overwatches. All right, hop by takes the high ground up here. Long Planet overwatches, Zukuga overwatches. I just want nobody next to Zukuga at this point. Uh, Christy just moves over there to not make the Psionic Bomb too obvious. Hunkering down with the Ghost. I think they will mainly go for the ghost. Yeah, we didn't want to trigger another pack, so let them come. Get them a little bit closer. We've killed 18 out of 60, so we're kind of one third in. Nice hit. Good Codex is almost dead, which is not bad. Uh, that is a problem. Unfortunately, the ghost is not automatically immune to mind control. Okay, well we don't want to let them have the ghost, for sure. So that's going to be our prime objective for now. Operation Rescue the Ghost. This might, might trigger another pack. It does not. Can our sniper help us out is the question. Wrong planet. Your services are needed. Let's 
answer is no. Listen, I know exactly we could charge in and just get that stupid sector, right? But I equally know that I'm going to regret pulling more enemies. Trying to see if there are any place where we would be able to see that sector. A big fat grenade would be fine. fact we might even be able to get away with standing in the open here could always just teamwork now can't get close enough so we need to go to here and waste teamwork sucks but it is what it is At least the grenade is going to pop and I think it's automatically applying disoriented as well so it automatically took care of the mind control problem and look at that surprisingly we can now hit the sector reload into kill for the sector But I hate him. Into hitting the heavy mech. Lyrical reloads. Fortunately, has no actions left over. I don't want to charge in. We can get away with stun lancer standing in the open, I guess. There is still a sniper, so you gotta be a bit careful about that. But generally speaking, we could get away with it. Google moves over here, eliminates the codex. Moving in to harass the purifier. Perry continuing the harassment even for one hit point. Nope, didn't work out. Ghost moves back. 
mainly because we don't want to trigger additional stuff. And Ghost then decides to move up here for a double Blade Storm play. Horus moves slightly up, overwatches, and we're good to go. If the Purifier's turn comes first, the Sharpshooter will not have any more targets that can scout for him. Okay, we were lucky. The AI, the AI plays it smart. Sorry for the noise. The AI plays it smart. They indeed let uh, the sharpshooter go first. Purifier, on the other hand, just dies. Like the pure excuse of an advent that he was. And we do have an interesting situation, don't we? I mean... Killed a lot of enemies. Yet another pack. Yet? And it is indeed quite impressive to see just how little damage we have uh, taken in those first encounters. Um, I want to move back and really solidly regroup um, here. No problem, boss. Drop a fire line. Whatever you say. Let's rock. Drop a reloading. We're moving over here just to get another high ground and a different angle. Good more overwatch. Overwatch. Reload. And we're done. There's one more enemy sort of up here on the hill. At least the last time I saw an overwatch pop up behind that hill right here might be an Archon or something along those lines so we have this natural funnel that would be great if we can uh, make use of it Actually, reconsider my options. Standing far enough apart. Yeah, I think we're good. We're actually quite good here. It's a bit of a reload and uh, overwatch type of situation. Good. More overwatch, more overwatch, and more overwatch. Good. End of turn. Let's see if someone moves into our overwatch trap. That would be great. There's still the chance that there is another kind of patrolling pack. Things break here, and they don't just break for nothing. Could have been an Andromedon. It's not a sector pod, elsewise I would have heard stomping. But we do have a really good coverage. 
of both of the entrances. There's one left and there's one center uh, here. And I hope that the enemies will be moving kind of in our, into our overwatch trap. Getting that extra few shots off is quite critical. And I also don't want to push th uh, for the same reason that I want them to push into uh, the opening. I don't want to push into the opening. It's a huge tactical disadvantage. And if I wouldn't have known that there are like 60-ish enemies on this map, I potentially um, at this point would use the Templar and just move in, kind of in and out, in and out. There are definitely packs here, look at that. Yeah, way too much damage that we would be taking. This is a nice position. We would have high ground and could drop down and they have a ramp as well. So never mind. Never mind. I thought we were the only ones that have a ramp. Good, so Cougar, it's a bit closer. Oh wait, what, what, what? We're standing in the open? Okay, I need to fix that. The tree just burned away. Yeah, we don't want Nemery to stay in the open. We can slowly go uphill here, I guess. But we would need to regroup. Uh, there is a pure... And there is an officer here. Okay. And something is moving over here. Okay, so maybe there is still a chance that they will be running into us. Good, this is a bit clustered. Good, Chrissy is expendable. Sounds harsh, but it's unfortunately true. Not what I wanted, but they will have tactical analysis going, so it's not the end of uh, the world. Nice, 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 nice. Well, these are all solid hits. Good, one down. And yeah, we can do the Guardian soon. Moves up here and let's shred. Yeah, we're just going to use one teamwork. Killing the heavy is worth is worth uh, spending an inspiration. Overwatch here. Good. 
Good, Hogbite will do something that Hogbite is typically not doing very often, which is using his Volt. Take that. Well, I was hoping it would jump. Apparently it did not. And I was also hoping it would start disorienting them, which it again did not. Well, look at that. Got ourselves another pack. Valkyrie. Boa. Oh, the boa. That is a... Oh, that's a bad sign. We gotta deal with it. Okay, well, we're not going to push in, not much at least. I need to get rid of that Guardian ASAP. Doing that is to let Christy take a bit of a more aggressive position here. Yep, let's try to hit the shields. Nope, it didn't work out, which is fine, Christy, don't worry. Don't be too hard on yourself. Let's get the Guardian. Okay, that's a good one. Reload into Guardian down. And that removes the shields. Huge bonus for us. Ignore the ignore the prime for now. Ignore the prime for now. Good, advanced teamwork over. Taurus is a bit too far behind. This here will be super good. Everybody is uh, suppressed plus disoriented and maybe we're even shredding. Shredding. The prime is a problem. I am tending to ignore them. OK, 
Okay, Pyro is also a bit of an issue, but one that we could theoretically deal with. Um, oh wow, really bad chances to hit. I don't want to push in, I mentioned it beforehand, it's a stupid idea. Nah, nah, can't push in. Well, I could, but it would uh, really work out poorly for us. I think I hate that Archon Prime more than the others, so... Trying to get him down. He's currently suppressed and... Uh, is dis disoriented, so oh, that's a pretty decent combination. That could be a kill. Uh, no, not quite, but the next one will be one. Moves into full cover. Trying to hit this guy. Nope. Not successful, which is okay. I was more or less testing our options here. Like I mentioned, Hogbot just needs to stay out of trouble. Overwatch here. Let's try to get that pyro down. Okay, even if we did not kill him, he's very close to death. Um, Templar Ghost. Could be the Mimic Beacon, or the closest thing towards a Mimic Beacon. Hunker's down here. Nice, not very nice hit. Okay, this is this is a bit my biggest concern, the boa at the moment. Luckily it double moved. Ah Christy did so well. Well, not terribly well, but okay, I would guess. What am I doing here? Flashbangs. Uh, 
All right, free reload. Let's get that mech. Nice hit. Well done. Removing the mech will unfortunately not remove the disorientation. That only works with uh, sectors. Then we do have the boa, the boa, the boa. Ready to rock. And I sincerely hope that we could shred her. Zero percent chance for stun. No. We have double shot. Well, we gotta do what we gotta do. Hogbite can't just stand around. Dealing some damage. Good. We're also filling up the focus. I'll decide if I want to move him away afterwards. For now, we're staying right there. Let's just get that mutant down. Focus on actually removing pieces from the battlefield. Could move up here. I don't know if that is going to trigger something. Like I said, I want to be really, really careful with line of sight here. Hitting a mutant and shredding him. The idea now is to just get things off of uh, the plate. In this case, it's the mutant. Did you see that one? Unfortunately, a miss. Elite Lancer is just getting far enough away so that grenades and so on are not a problem. Overwatches. Still 0% chance to hit. We could try to burst it. Suppose not a bad idea. We can reload and then just burst fire. But instead of pulling any random guy there, let's put the Templar Ghost there. Make it difficult to hit him. Unfortunately, we missed the boar. A 
another flashbang, which Hogbite is solidly immune against. Oh, I like that fight uh, through this very small corridor. Good, disorientation finally removed. So is the tree, the tree of life that uh, was helping us here. So Cougar, looks over. Perhaps the purifier. Nah. Stupid disorientation. Giving the enemies the ability to actually disorient. What a crazy idea. Alright, stun. Good. That means we don't need to deal with him anytime soon. Reloaded. Time for the striker to die. I think I got a piece. Unfortunately, just merely not good enough. I know there's another pack just can't get to them. This will trigger. Can't get in. Well, I'm not sure. Not sure at all. But I believe we're okay. This guy is a perfect target for dual strike. Nice crit. Fabulous. Almost down. Good. We're moving back down. May need to not trigger another pack. Okay, Hogbot uses Psionics. Continue to hit the boar. Nope. It still has its armor. Good, we're overwatching. Boa will not really move forward, but maybe the lead striker is. So we're just overwatching here as well. And Templar Ghost is disoriented currently, so I would just want to hunker down. Tongue grab is a real thing. Might happen. And that's what I was afraid of. There's another pack back there. Okay, it has its upsides. At least we can move a bit uh, further forward. Good, listen, we want to hit the boar. 
And we just can't hit it. Oh lord. Ignore the purifier. Instead, let's kill the striker. Good. Solid hit. Boy, has too many hit points yet. Shredding. Good, very good. This Kuga is a bit too exposed for my taste, but it will be fine in just a second. Ghost is finally okay. Ghost moves back. It's going to be our main mimic beacon here. Hogbite moves in, strikes this guy, and moves out. You know, I think we're just overwatching here. And we can use one charge of uh, the ghost's ability. That'll allow us to parry once for free. Which is really what we need at this point. Lyrical can move up next turn with a full shotgun. High ground is great. Zukuger could theoretically do that as well. Another Archon Prime. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. Luckily we're missing. Good. The Archon Prime could have gone much worse. Another boar. Oh. Well, at least we have parried the Overwatch. Unfortunately, we have triggered another pack. Okay, careful here. Our ghost might be beyond redemption at this point.
Okay, well, what can we do? Let's put this one out for free. I would like to disorient him. Or, even better, completely stun him. That would be fa fabulous. Well, at least it's disoriented. Good, double shot. Which will shred him. Oh, wow. Crit into cover, yeah? Good, so you want to play rough? We will play rough. Ready to engage. Purifier. Takes away the little bit of cover that was left. Suppressing him, okay. Uh, there's still a codex. thinking hmm. Hmm. how about this cheeky play hog bite into lightning hands that'll trigger a couple of things That's a nice little blade storm. Okay, we missed. Unfortunate. I think we. I should go for the codex and just accept that. That were uh, that our um, image is gone. Good chance for crit. Could definitely get the Gatling Sergeant. Good chance of uh, killing the Codex as well. Let's go for the Codex. Psionic Bomb is just too much to handle. Could get the uh, Boa. Or the Gatling Sergeant. Don't want to charge in further for the boar. But it charges in. He could then take the spot up here. Yeah, it's not worth it to commit for something. I tell you what, if if the boar lets go. After this one here, we're good. If not, F it. Put 
12 points of damage. We're not going to deal that much. I accept the ghost is gone. Nice hit, very nice hit. Yeah, we're immune against poison, but nice try, buddy. Look at that. He's coming in uh, strong with a big fat blazing pinions. The others are staying back, which isn't the worst. I like it. Central, shut up. Really. We're not taking heavy casualties by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, to be entirely honest, we're taking quite moderate casualties for what we're fighting. But yeah, I suppose we're taking air quotes, heavy casualties. Yeah. Once per turn. Did I get shop and mall? Nah. Hmm. Just want to get rid of that stupid snake. Nemory moves up. And I think we're we're going to pepper the Archon. Just a lot, okay. Going to trigger overwatches. Oh, wow, more than expected. Oh, wow. Holy shit, we've taken a lot of damage. That was more, way more than I would have anticipated. Um, because I wanted to do this trick here, uh, Gatling gar uh, Gunner, into reset. I don't think that it was worth uh, six or seven hit points that we've just lost. So I could have just, I could have uh, just used uh, mm, Lyrical to trigger the Overwatch. That's a bit unfortunate. Well, mistakes were made. get some healing next turn. Retourne. 
And some untouchable for lyrical. Last bit of cover was removed. There is another pack back here. Okay, fair enough. And there's another boa. Hmm. You hate to see them. They're just waiting to pull you in. Good. Adrenaline rush into healing. How do I get rid of the cover there? I'm ready. Look, I mean, hmm. Boa could move to here, then pull us up, right? That could be the play. Which means when she's coming in, we need to make sure that we have her nice, nicely under control. Um. Do I want to use the Mimic Beacon? Potentially not. Let's just first of all get rid of the purifier. You can't handle me. Okay. She still has cover. She being the Libor. And we could suppress. Suppress should prevent her from using her tongue ability. Taurus moves over here and just suppresses her. Okay, 60% chance of actually shredding her. I'll take that. When can we run back? Uh, breaching, where is that? What was the exact condition for it? After turn ending attack on a flanked or stunned enemy. Which would be the case if we're running to here and then take a shot and then move down. Doesn't matter that we trigger overwatch because we actually have lightning reflexes. There's the flank we were looking for. I was actually hoping for crit, to be honest. Amplify and to hit her with Vault. Eight to ten points of damage. I like that. Let's kill her. 
Okay, it was a costly maneuver, but we saved the Mimic Beacon. Which I would value higher than two focus. And we got her down. That's a double move, right? New single move, okay, okay. Good, down to seven effective hit points. Wanted to get him into kill range. His hogbite needs more focus. All right, continuing with the riot mech. Nice hit. To be frank, a fantastic hit. Reload into shot into reset. Did you see that one? Lyrical moves over. Overwatches. Memory overwatches. Yeah, Hawkbird can just parry. More watch. Okay. Perfect timing for some more Overwatch. first reloading because this gives us a breezer that we need still more overwatch on their side What we can do and should do is change our aiming angles a bit. Wrong planet will brace over there and we sort of need to retake maybe the high ground over here. Do have lightning reflexes, so not much was happening there. On it. Good, taking cover on both sides. Look at you, all of a sudden moving forward, eh? Attention. 
Lyric Hill triggers Overwatch. Kuga moves up, we need the shredding. There we go. Enemy shredded. Unfortunately, enemy was missed. Should have disoriented first because uh, then I would have gotten a free additional shot off. But it's okay. But we still have the problem with the Andromedon. I'm going. Andromedon hits ultra hard, so we have to be careful here. No one will slip past. Let's just hit it. Unfortunately, too much armor for now. Might move up a tiny bit and maybe just take a shot. Yeah, like I said, pretty hard. Moves up. Demolition. And we are definitely going for this guy. Good. Reload. Hit. Unfortunately, not maximum damage. Takes the front to be the main target there. The one overwatching enemy has now started to get to the uh, to the other pack. You heard the voice line; they have abandoned them. So Kuga is being topped off and. I think this here is a nice high ground position. So. Let's migrate over there. Still holds the middle. I forfeit the loot. And we're compl 
completely changing uh, the outlook of our position. I want to fight from here, utilizing high ground. I don't think that any more enemy packs will run into that corridor. position Taurus. I mean Taurus will take Lyrical's position there and hope I just fights from below. Reload. Lyrical can overwatch and we're automatically bracing. Battle scanner. Chrysalids. Interesting, okay. Okay, I'll go. just carefully moves over. We're not full. Uh, with our um, with our focus yet, but we're okay for now. Still got a free reload here. Good, we're fully reloaded. Nice. It's a decent timing get these guys uh, running into us. Nice, very good damage. Fabulous damage. Okay. Hearing the chrysalids can't move in too far. As that would be deadly. We're going to kill this guy into reset. Curiosity. We could definitely suppress these three, which means shredding just to set him up. Would be a good idea. And then we're just suppressing, which will disorient and maybe even damage them. Disorient, yes, damage, no. A little bit too less damage there, but they are disoriented, which in return means we will get free shots. There we go. This will trigger a second free shot. Wait, but why? Why doesn't it trigger a free shot?
Okay, that is very strange. Trigger that extra pack up there. Not yet, okay. Hawkbite we'll continues with his absolute madness. You know what? I think just killing this guy might be the right uh, plan. Okay, and Hawkeye moves back. Fabulous. Kill, kill on the heavy. And we're moving back so much so that this guy needs to come in. Continue our onslaught. But we want to do it in an efficient manner. Just kill the guy, get a reset. We're reloading where needed. And we're just going to overwatch. Okay, let's see if that last pack is going to run into us, just like the others. I don't even know if it's the last pack, to be honest. I've lost count. This is an absolute battlefield. Both sides have taken losses. Luckily ours were the less important red shirts, if you to take a Star Wars uh, Star Trek reference All right, come on. Give me that sweet sweet alien activity that runs right into us. Good. We'll test two or three more rounds. I still have hope that they will come from behind that stone here. Okay. 
Come on, come on, come on. Is this going to trigger something? Maybe. Gatekeeper sucks. The chrysalids also suck. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, nice. Shredded it right away. Okay, okay, baby. So just out of curiosity, zone suppression. Hmm, not bad. I like it, we're going to go for it, but before we do... Before we do... Continue to shred the eyeball. And now it's zone suppression, which will disorient them and maybe even shred them. There we go, shredded uh, the eyeball a second time. And a couple of the other guys are also sh Oh yeah, oh yeah! Eleven to thirteen. And this guy has twelve hit points. No, not good enough. But maybe we're just stunning it. I which I was quite sure wouldn't happen. But that gets him into the we can hit it a hundred percent chance uh, direction, and with that, we get a kill. And one of the most threatening enemies is gone. I'll leave a mimic beacon as an option open. Very cool. Moves up. Okay, well, apparently it's Chris at the time. Sergeant is really still there. here hit kill or just leave them to be honest oh 
We're going with that hunter killer first. Shock and Maul gives us a second, uh, a second shot. Currently not, because we haven't killed them. But that's okay. Reaper into. Reaper into a big, fat, juicy kill. Six to seven. Five to six. Continuing to just go through them. Hawkbite just gets them all down, the entire pack. Make no mistake, the others were from the different pack. Get that sergeant down. We are calmly moving back, Scanning. saying thank you guys, and uh, see you when you're arriving at our position. Yep. Rippers is not, not a problem when you have Blade Storm. Reload. Chrysalid Hunter. Gets high calibered. Sniper reload into kill into reset. You know that was good. Into damage. Very nice. Still fighting. Oh my gosh, this is a long mission. If there ever had been one, oh, this is a long mission. The mother of all long missions. Moves over. And unfortunately does not crit. I like the high ground. But I also want to make sure this guy dies. Memory moves up. And puts him into the ever, forever sleep box. Good. Are we almost done? Question mark. I don't know. Good, parrying. Allez, 
So I'm moving up. We're further moving up. Moving up for next round. Reload into at least a hit. Not a lot of damage, but the warrior slowly but surely is going to go down. Can't believe we're still going. Telling me we're still not done. Go, go, go. <laughs> no. No way that this is not the end. Oh Lord, what a mission. Yeah, 50 plus was a good joke. It actually meant to say it's 75 enemies and we're not talking about a couple of losses this time just running around in their in their uh, summer outfits we're talking about hardcore primes lots of them max end game uh, advent yep. pretty much uh, every hard enemy that you could imagine short of a sector pod was on this mission Wow, well that certainly was one of the hardest missions I've played so far. And it's a miracle that we only uh, had two gravely wounded uh, characters. This is actually better than I would have expected. modifications to the shadow chamber first command work is well underway good can't do any of that research um shadow chamber upgrade into psionic gate change research research uh, the psionic gate 10 days and then the avatar this unusual artifact could be crucial to i can tell you that much guys we will likely make it to water world so that's the good news here we will likely make it to water world but seeing what i've just seen and how difficult that was i have not a lot of confidence that we're going to go far water world will likely be the end of it but that's also cool it will be kind of a last man uh, standing mission and we'll push it as far as we can But let's not uh, let's not get demotivated before something even happened. We could make contact here. How much intel do we have? Actually, quite a bit. Munition expert isn't bad. Bomb squad. Uh, both are okay. Just wondering we got another facility here but to be honest we have enough facilities the avatar project is not a problem i'd much rather keep the uh, current intel maybe get a little bit more cool enders 
got a promotion so what else can we do um, increase income aim health dodge plus nine is good and the health isn't bad either like these six day health missions are actually really good specifically since we do have a health problem how much longer do we have in this month 13 days so I have to wonder uh, yeah six days to health plus one is the shortest we could get it's not bad uh, and currently I think L Lyrical could use it Namri could also use it takes l less damage though and uh, Hogbite is not currently there Yeah, this will just get it down to five days. And there we go. Not bad. Bit of extra hit points um, are helpful. More facilities. Uh, come on Bradford I know you can do it I really 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 don't feel like being shot down okay that was a fantastic evasive maneuver Bradford it was just yeah fly right into it the enemy would have never guessed that that would have happened uh, mm. Yeah, but your uh, reverse psychology didn't work out, Bradford. Okay, well, Operation Moon Shadow might be the end of uh, this campaign. I was trying to uh, not get uh, UFO attack, but we do have four uh, defense matrix turrets, uh, so it's actually not that bad. Um, we'll figure it out. Cliffhanger here. Let's see if we can make it work. Thank you for watching. Uh, this was a long, 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 long episode. And see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.